No more beaver in any of my traps here. But I have another raccoon. <clears throat> that's a surprise. That makes three raccoons. That's a that's a beaver bank burrow. They don't really build stick houses in my area all that often. There are a few, but mostly they make these tunnels up under the bank. And that's where the where the beaver live. But, uh, I think I've got the beaver problem under control, but it surprises me to get three raccoons out of here. I guess they're gonna use the beaver burrows as dens themselves, or thought they were. Now, anyway, I'll get my tools and get him out of that trap. I have some traps higher on the mountain, and I gotta go check today. As you can see, we got some snow, which makes life a little more difficult. The roads were really icy, it rained before it snowed. So I'm a little bit worried about going up that mountain to check these. The water level has dropped here. This trap here, it was uh, mostly under the water. It's out of the water now. I'll have to fix that. I've got another foothold right there for muskrats. And a couple more up the ditch bank here, but um, so far all these are empty. Cold this morning. It's 17 degrees. Raccoons are one of these animals that I really kind of hate to catch. They're, I hate to say that they don't have any value because it's a living animal and they all have value, but they don't sell for very much. And they're extremely fatty and hard to flesh and kind of hard to skin. Not terrible, but a little bit hard to skin. And I'd just soon leave them in there. <laughs> but when they're in your trap and they're already done in, you don't really have a lot of choice. You can't turn them loose. So, anyway, here we go. Wouldn't you know it, elk season ended yesterday. And this is on the mountain right above my house. Bunch of elk right there. There's more coming across the hillside right there. November 9th, got a pretty fair amount of snow, probably I'm thinking six inches or so right here. It's pretty, but I'm not quite ready for this just yet. <laughs> Guess I don't need to be, it's here anyway. Checking pine marten traps this morning, and I got a couple of wolf traps up here. So far, everything's been empty. But my bait's still in here. At the base of this tree, got a bobcat come right up to it. Unfortunately, Bobcat season doesn't open for another month, December 14th, and today is, I don't know what today is, um, November 14th, I think, or thereabouts. Anyway, can't set for him yet. 
Well, first set of traps is empty. This piece of cardboard here, I've got a chunk of muskrat up underneath and a little bit of lure. My trap, of course, is right there. This is the third year that that piece of cardboard has been here. And it, it holds up actually really pretty well. Those beer boxes, I can usually get uh, at least two years out of them. Maybe more if I was to leave them long enough. Amazing how much different things look with the snow on them. Pretty neat. Not really sure what these tracks are. Face far enough apart, they could possibly be Martin. It's got a trap right here, though. I don't see anything in it. Might just been a rabbit also. But it's empty. Got my muskrat up in there and my trap right there. Well, I'll relure this one and move on to the next one. And this trap here is empty. Now these roads aren't too bad, they're snowy, but uh, they're not icy. There's times that these roads get so slick that there's no way I can get up here. Well, I'm hopeful that uh, it doesn't do that. Uh, can't remember what day is, Tuesday or so, Wednesday maybe. Friday, they're calling for rain. 
Uh, I hope it doesn't do that. Snow is one thing. Rain, the rain would stop it. So, <laughs> hope not. Boy, look at them mountains. Never get tired of those. Fresh wolf tracks here in the snow. We've got a little bit of frost crystals in the bottom. They're not, not super fresh, but they're fresh. Well, that's encouraging. I've got wolf traps just right over there and a few more down the road here. Uh, hopefully. Last trip up when I checked traps, I pulled this uh, trap here, this beaver trap. I had, did have another beaver there. Uh, I didn't get any pictures of it though, I should have, but I didn't bring a tripod. There are wolf tracks right here in the snow. Looks like at least one, maybe two. This is, this is where I sat to put my rubber boots on so I could get down into there and get that beaver out of there. So no. they are they are definitely coming through. These smaller ones, those are coyote. Quite a bit of difference here. The bad news The bad news is it doesn't appear it looks like he went right on up that tire track on up the road it does not appear that he went by my traps I don't know find out here coyotes can be insulting here he's got a track right on up to the stump that I used to Chop up a chicken on, peed on it, and my trap is right there. I have another trap. Let's see, right over there, someplace. Anyway, another trap over there. Last track I had a coyote in it, but uh, he'd pulled out. There's some wolf tracks coming off that hill. Right at the top of that hill is where I have some traps. So I missed that one. There's some more tracks. I missed that one also, but they both came off uh, right where my traps are. So with a little bit of luck, there was three of them, and I've, I've got one in a trap. Even if I don't, this is what makes trapping exciting to me. Not knowing, and boy, I hope I do, but we'll see. This wolf stepped right exactly in my tracks. There's one here, one there, one there. He followed my trail 100% exactly. Which, <laughs> now, I wish that I had gone over to my trap here. I wanted to keep my distance from it. But I missed him. 
and followed my tracks instead of smelling around a little bit. And I have another trap down here though. One more left. Now, last chance. Yeah, look at these tracks. Right square in my boot tracks. Pretty exciting. And my last trap. Let's see. Okay, see so he now he this is where he came in from my traps. Or onto my trail, I mean. Ah shoot, I don't have him. He went right through that gap, and my last trap is at the base of that tree right there. And it's empty. Dang it. Well, <laughs> close, but no cigar. Maybe next tra trap check through. I um, normally have a few more traps in the truck, and I didn't bring any today. I was in a hurry. Cindy wants to butcher some chickens. Well, guarantee you next trip through, unless I get snowed out, it's trying to snow. I'll bring some more. That, that's what makes this so hard. All this country. You're trying to get a wolf to step in a six-inch circle. I wonder just where this guy actually went. Down here a little ways and take a look. Obviously he didn't be... He wasn't bothered by my traps, or tracks. Walked right in them. through there it looks like like I said my my trap is just right there that's not um, not only about maybe a hundred feet away dang it tell you one thing that tree there next trip up is gonna have a trap under it Anyway, <laughs> empty traps, but thanks for watching, and see you on down the trail.